Next technique, that's chromatography. Now, chromatography is based on the different solubilities of the solids in the same solvent. So if you have mixture of more than one solid and you want to separate these solids and identify these solids, chromatography is a good technique. But in order for chromatography to happen, your mixture should be soluble. All components of the mixture should be soluble in the same solvent. If any component of the mixture is not soluble in the solvent, that won't be separated by chromatography. Now, this method is based on the difference in the solubilities. Just if fractional distillation was based on the difference in the boiling points of the liquids, chromatography is based on the difference in the solubilities of the solids in the same solid, so, solvent. The solids which are more soluble will rise to a greater height with the solvent. The solids which are less soluble will lag behind. So due to the difference in the solubilities, each solid can be separated from the other solid. And this is a very sensitive technique. It can detect even the minutest amount of solids. Okay. So mostly we use chromatography ko use karte, colored dyes ko separate karne ke liye in order to find that each dye is made up of how many different pigments, how many pure substances. So how do we carry out chromatography? Now chromatography technique is very important. Aksar iski planning aa jati hai ke plan an experiment to separate this mixture and identify how many components are present in the mixture. Chromatography aap kai cheezon ki kar sakte ho. Dyes ki, amino acids ki, hydrolytic products of proteins, hydrolytic products of carbohydrates, simple sugars ko separate kar ke identify kar sakte ho by chromatography. Okay. okay, suppose we want to um, separate the dyes present in green food color. So how do we carry out uh, chromatography? Uh, we take a paper, filter paper, and um, we draw a line with pencil near one end of the filter paper, two centimeter from one end of the filter paper. The line should always be drawn with pencil because ink, if it is drawn with ink, ink might be soluble in the solvent and it can spread and separate on the chromatogram, ruining it. So it is drawn with pencil because graphite is insoluble in the solvent. Then we hang the paper in the chromatography tank or a beaker and we cover the beaker should be covered with a lid. The lid is very important. Otherwise, uh, the solvent will evaporate from the paper and it won't rise completely. So it is very important to saturate the air inside the uh, tank, a chromatography tank with the vapors of the solvent to reduce the rate of evaporation. So we are using lid use kare to reduce evaporation of the solvent from the paper. Okay. So we hang the filter paper in such a way in the solvent that the start line is above and we place our, before hanging it, we place the spot of mixture on the start line with the help of a dropper. We use either a dropper or a capillary tube to put a fine drop of the mixture on the start line and then we hang it in the uh, chromatography tank. Now, you can write all these things you can say that set up the apparatus as shown in the diagram. So, that is your, but then the lid, the tank, start line, okay? This is start line. Mixture, this is your mixture, hai. spot of the mixture, solvent, sub label hona chahiye, okay? Achha, if you allow it to run for some time, then what will happen is that the ethanol will rise on the filter paper and it will reach near the upper end of the filter paper. And in that mixture, the mixture of solids, the different spots, the different dyes that are made, you will obtain separate spots of those dyes. Now, if there are three spots in that so it, it is a mixture of three substances. If you get only one spot, it means it's a pure uh, substance. It's not a mixture. So jitni bhi impurities usme honge, wo sab separate ho jayenge according to their solubilities. Remember. 
For example, we are doing this and we obtain such results. The green color separates into two spots. Now this paper with the separated component is known as chromatogram. And another important point to remember, we allow the solvent to run on the paper, but we remove the chromatogram from the tank when the solvent reaches near the upper, upper end. We never allow the solvent to overrun the paper. Before completing the paper, we have to remove it because we have to calculate the distance traveled by the solvent and the distance traveled by the solute. So, if it overrun, kar gaya, we can never calculate RF value. So this is very important that we remove the chromatogram from the solvent when the solvent reaches near the upper end of the paper. If we obtain two spots, it means this green color is made up of these two colors, that's blue and yellow. If we obtain only one spot, it means the mixture which you used was not a mixture, it was a pure substance. Pure substances only make one spot on the chromatogram. Okay, so let's see how far the solvent front and the substance travel depends on how long the experiment is run. Kitni der tak aap usko upar, kitna upar tak jane dete ho, thik hai? But remember, the ratio of the distance traveled by the substance over the distance traveled by the solvent will remain constant. Chahe ho aap wo experiment kitni hi der kyun na karo? Zada der karo ya kam der karo? RF value of a substance is constant that is the retention factor or relative flow that will remain constant and how will uh, we ca calculate RF value of a substance RF value is equal to the distance traveled by the substance over the total distance traveled by the solvent and these distances are measured from the start line start line say up may okay so for example, if we have done one experiment for a short time and one for a long time. In short time, the solvent was below, so we have removed it. In long time, we allowed the solvent to reach near the top of the paper. We didn't have to overrun it. If we have overrun it, then we can't calculate the RF value. Now we will calculate the RF value for this spot in both the papers. Although this spot is in different positions in different papers. But you will see that the ratio is the same. The distance traveled by the spot over the total distance that is 3 over 4.5 is equal to 0.67 and in this paper this distance is 3.5 over 5.2 it is also equal to 0.67 so it means the RF value remains same every substance has a fixed RF value in a fixed solvent uske us solvent mein RF value constant hoti hai and it can be identified from its RF value जैसे आप किसी चीज को उसके बॉलिंग पॉइंट से पहचान सकते हो मैच करके इसी तरह किसी भी चीज को उसके आर एफ वैल्यू से रेकग्नाइज और आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हो सो द आर एफ वैल्यू हेल्प अस टू आइडेंटिफाई द सब्सटेंस के कौन सा सब्सटेंस है फाइव टू डिफरेंट सब्सटेंसेस हैव डिफरेंट आर एफ वैल्यूज एज वी डिस्कस बिफोर द डिफरेंट सॉलिड्स हैव डिफरेंट सॉलिबिलिटीज इन द सेम सॉल्वेंट सो दे राइज टू डिफरेंट हाइट्स उनकी रेशो विथ सॉल्वेंट डिफरेंट होती है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दे कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड एंड सेपरेटेड लेट्स डू अ सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट अ स्पॉट ऑफ फूड कलरिंग एक्स है एंड देर आर फोर ब्रांड बैंड आइज ए बी सी डी वी वॉन्ट टू चेक वेदर द फूड कलर एक्स कंटेन आइदर वन ऑफ दीज डाइज इन इट क्योंकि आपको पता है मैनी केमिकल फूड कलर्स जो होते हैं दीज आर कार्सिनोजेंस कैन कॉज कैंसर तो हम फूड कलर्स बहुत एहतियात से नेचुरल सोर्सेस से लेते हैं कि दीज आर शुड नॉट बी हार्मफुल टू फॉर हेल्थ सो वी वांट टू चेक वेदर एक्स कंटेन एनी ऑफ दीज डाइज और नॉट सो हाउ कैन वी डू इट वील परफॉर्म क्रोमेटोग्राफी एक्सपेरिमेंट वील टेक अ फिल्टर पेपर प्लेस अ स्टार्ट लाइन ड्रॉ अ स्टार्ट लाइन विद पेंसिल प्लेस स्पॉट्स ऑफ एक्स ए बी सी डी ऑन द स्टार्ट लाइन सेपरेटली Now we'll hang this paper in the chromatogram, uh, in the solvent, in such a way that solvent level should stay below the start line. The paper should be dipped in the solvent so that the solvent can rise on the paper, but the start line should be above. If the start line is dipped in the solvent, what happens? 
that the mixture will dissolve in the whole solvent and spread on the whole paper and the chromatogram won't be readable aap us pe spots ko distinguish nahi kar sakoge so that's the problem that's why we keep we allow the solvent to run over the mixture not the mixture to dissolve in the whole solvent okay so we'll hang it in the tank and we allow the solvent to rise when the solvent reaches near the upper end of the filter paper we will uh, remove the chromatogram by that time all the spots would have been separated and now we can calculate their rf values remember to cover the apparatus to ensure that uh, to reduce the evaporation from the filter paper or chromatogram okay suppose we obtain this result now let's see which dyes are present and which are not present look at it. how do you find which of the dyes are present we match the rf values if rf values are same it means these are the same substance now look at a the rf value of a does not match any of the three substances present in the food color x so a is not present okay let's check b spots of b b has two colors but both colors are not present in this this matches but not this one so b is also not present agar b hoti to ye point bhi aata look at c c is this and this now both points of c match the rf values of the substances present in x it means c color food color is present c dye is present in the food color x let's check d d ke opposite rf value mein koi point nahi hai so d is not present so it means k out of all these only c food color is present that band food color is present in the food color so normally hum ye zarur karte hain check karne ke liye ki koi band substance to nahi present so chromatographic experiments run karte hain in order to find what is present and what is not present by matching their rf values same solvent mein same rf value means same substance so far we were doing chromatography of colored dyes food colors ink uh, their spots are clearly visible on the chromatogram white paper suppose if we are doing a chromatography for a mixture of white solid which makes colorless spots on the paper white spots on the white paper are not visible now how do we know the chromatography is complete and the mixture is separated we won't be able to see any spot we'll see the solvent front rising on the chromatogram but we won't be able to detect any spot in such cases we use locating agent now locating agent is a chemical which is sprayed on the chromatogram and which gives color to the colorless spots or invisible spots and we can recognize that this spot is here and we can easily calculate its rf value so we allow the experiment to run when the uh, solvent reaches near the upper end just below the upper end we remove the chromatogram we know that the chromatography is complete still the paper is invisible kuch nazar nahi aa raha us pe but then we spray the locating agent on it and all the spots which are separated on the chromatogram will be now visible because of that locating agent so how do we do this we do this specially to separate the mixture of amino acids amino acids uh, white hote hain solids hote hain aur unka colorless solution hota hai so unke spots visible nahi hote to sabse pehle hum usko सूटेबल सॉल्वेंट से सेपरेट कर लेते हैं क्रोमैटोग्राम में एंड वेन द सॉल्वेंट रीच इज नियर द टॉप ऑफ द क्रोमैटोग्राम वी रिमूव इट एंड देन वी स्प्रे लोकेटिंग एजेंट ऑन इट द स्पॉट्स बिकम विजिबल एंड नाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द आर एफ वैल्यू ऑफ दीज अमाइनो एसिड्स एंड वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई दिस विच अमाइनो एसिड्स आर प्रेजेंट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द आर एफ वैल्यू डाटा सो क्रोमैटोग्राफी बेसिकली इज यूज for different purposes it is used to separate the components in a sample like uh, colors of ink pigments in food uh, plants uh, amino acids and proteins 
or um, simple sugars in a carbohydrate can be separated using chromatography technique. We can identify these components by measuring their RF values. ठीक है RF value के मदद से हम identify भी कर सकते हैं. We can identify if a banned substance is present in our food. कोई banned food color present है. ठीक है. We can identify the presence of poisons in food. We can identify pesticides, different drugs present in our blood sample or something. Um, by using chromatography, by measuring their RF values, and we, it is also chromatography is also criteria of purity. If on the chromatogram you obtain a single spot, it means the substance given is a pure substance. It's not a mixture. Because if there is a slight bit impurity, it will be separated from the chromatogram. So it's a very sensitive technique. It is also used to find. Purity of a substance, just like melting point and boiling point, हम use करते हैं as a criteria of purity. हम chromatography से भी किसी चीज़ की purity prove कर सकते हैं. So key points to remember: that chromatography is a technique used to separate two or more solids that dissolves in the same solvent. ठीक है? And we can identify each component by measuring its RF value. क्रोमेटोग्राम हमें सेपरेटेड कंपोनेंट्स दिखा देता है इफ द सेपरेटेड कंपोनेंट्स आर नॉट विजिबल वी कैन स्प्रे लोकेटिंग एजेंट टू मेक इट विजिबल इट इज आल्सो यूज टू फाइंड द प्योरिटी ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस इफ वी गेट अ सिंगल स्पॉट आफ्टर क्रोमेटोग्राफी इट मींस इट्स अ प्योर सब्सटेंस वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई ईच सब्सटेंस प्रेजेंट इन द मिक्सचर बाय मेयरिंग इट्स आर एफ वैल्यू वेर एज आर एफ वैल्यू इज द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय द सब्सटेंस ओवर द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय द सॉल्वेंट लोकेटिंग एजेंट का मैं आपको पहले ही बता चुकी हूँ 